Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome to Stickman Reads. Today's book has dinosaurs, which, do we love dinosaurs? No. Can you make a big dinosaur roar? <laughs> and we're reading a book called Theothosaurus, The Dinosaur Who Loved Big Words, written by Shelley Johannes and illustrated by Mike Morin. And there are some really great words in the story that we're gonna get to learn today, and you guys will love it. You guys ready to get started? Let's do it. Theothosaurus, the dinosaur <laughs> who loved big words. <clears throat> Today was migration day. Theo's parents were ecstatic. Theo was not. And I love this parents. If you see right here, the defino dino, each page has a defino dino that tells us about some really cool words. So migration means to move from one place to another. So they're migrating. They're going from one place to another. And here's Theo. He's not ecstatic. Ecstatic means not excited. That's because Theo was a thesaurus. He loved big words. The more colossal, the better. Colossal is another word for huge. And this, I don't even know how... <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialatheo! You like that? I'll say it again. Supercalifragilisticexpialatheo! Theo! But at a new school, his big words might get in the way. How will I make friends if no one understands me? He asks his parents. Communicating with new acquaintances can be challenging for a thesaurus. No, that's the no, that's mom. That's the dad. That's right. We know you will work hard to make new companions, said his dad. Theo wasn't convinced. Convinced mean that you're not, you're not convinced because something is not going right. Yeah, you're not sure about it. At school, his teacher introduced him. Class, this is Theo. And look, Theo is, he has his braces on his teeth. The class chanted, hello, Theo. And then he said, salutations, he shouted back. What? Isn't that cool? Salutations. Salutations means, it's like a really big word for hello. Salutations is a really, really, really big. Mm -hmm. Can you guys move, can you guys help move our dinosaurs so we can turn the page? Thanks. No one had ever met a thesaurus before, so they had a plethora of questions. And here's our defino dino. Plethora means a whole lot. Do you brush your teeth? Can you roar? Do you eat meat? What's up with your tail? Is a thesaurus even a real dinosaur? Some hurt more than others. How's his body language? The toothbrush one hurts too. Mm -hmm. How's his body language? He's really even sad, the, right? Eat the, even the yeah. meat one. Right. All those questions kind of kind of hurt his feelings. Theo explained his species the best he could. The Sauruses are the only logomaniacs on the planet. But his classmates looked confused. And here's our defino dino. Logomaniacs means they are word lovers or word obsessed. Okay. Can you say logo? Logo. Maniacs. Maniacs. Logo maniacs. Logo maniacs. Good girl. Theo got an idea. He would teach everyone all about the Sauruses. Then maybe they'd understand him and want to be his friend. Theo began by sharing some of his thesaurus vocabulary. Onomatopoeia! Shenanigans! Flip it or jib it! But his classmates weren't impressed. Misunderstanding, misunderstandings could be frustrating and lonely. And one of my favorite words is onomatopoeia, which those are kinds of words that they are spelled the way they sound. Like, and they're like, they're like sound effects. So like, boom is an onomatopoeia. And pow is another onomatopoeia. Pow. Theo had another idea. He would read them his favorite book. Could someone walk me to the Athenium? He asked. His classmates walked him to the auditorium instead. Misinterpretation, misinterpretations could be confusing and risky. And look, Theo, instead of them taking to the Athenium, which is the library. the library, they took him to the auditorium. And now he's stuck auditioning or trying out for a play in a, in a school, school play. 
And he's kind of nervous. He's like, I didn't mean to go here. I wanted to go to the library, to the Athenaeum. During lunch, Theo offered some of his homemade snacks. Would anyone like to try my special crudita? A crudite? That's a really cool word, crudite, which is kind of like appetizers. Ew! Misconceptions could be tough to swallow and bitter. Crudite, they don't even know. And I didn't know what that was either until we read this book. At recess, Theo tried something else. He suggested they all play a simple game together. Would anyone like to engage in a round of conceal and search? His classmates started, started a game of tag instead. Miscommunications could be dangerous and painful. So they're all, they're all playing tag instead of playing conceal and search. And def, uh, definitely. Con that is called, that is another word for hide and seek. <laughs> hide and seek, yes, exactly right. And that's what our defino dino says. It's another way of saying hide and seek. Excuse me, dinosaurs. But Theo was determined to find a way. On Friday, he communicated in writing instead. Yeah, I, I request your attendance to celebrate the anniversary of my hatching. That means birthday. Yeah, his hatching, his We're birthday. Good. He's to basically invite him to his birthday. And do they get it? No. Mm -mm, no. They don't understand these really cool words he knows. Finally, the time came. Theo waited and waited and waited. He tried to look on the bright side. Supplementary snacks for me. But it wasn't that simple. Playing alone wasn't any fun. And supplementary is another way of saying extra. And look, he's got extra snacks and he's waiting for his it's friends. But they haven't gotten there yet. Ollie, can you say, uh-oh? Uh -huh. Let's turn a page. Can you explain how you're feeling? His mom asked. Theo tried to find the best word to describe his emotions. Exhausted, forlorn, confused, cantankerous, irate. But he didn't know what to say. For the first time ever, Theo was speechless. What does that mean? Which one? Irate? Irate means to be super angry and mad. That's a great question. That's cantankerous. Which means you're upset. Luckily, his parents knew just what to do. Because sometimes... Theo didn't need any words at all. What does it say? This one? It says, he didn't, it says, Theo didn't need any words at all. Then the doorbell rang. Ding dong, ding dong. I said it. Ding dong. Let's see who's at the door. Let's turn the page. Excuse me, Triceratops. Excuse me. Salutations, his new friend shouted. And that was exactly the word Theo needed to hear. Uh, and look, his friends, what do they bring? Presents. Presents, yay. Triceratops, do you like presents? Yes. <laughs> yay. And also, parents, you can see here on the back, there's a glossary. There's, there's a list of all the words that were used and definitions for them, and they're very kid-friendly definitions. These are great. What's, no a way. What's, a, what's a word you guys remember from our story? Salutations. Salutations. I like flibber to gibbet. I like... Did you like crudite? Crudite. crudite. It's, like crudite. it's actually, it's like raw food. Crudite. Oh. Yeah, raw. All right, peeps. We hope you enjoyed today's story. Theothesaurus. Check out your local library and like and subscribe our channel so that way you can check out more awesome books that we read and share together. Y'all have a great day. Y'all say bye. Bye. Do dinosaurs say bye? Bye. How do dinosaurs say bye? Bye. Bye. Bye.